Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back to Fallout 3. It's Colonel Autumn. Thought he was dead. I didn't think, but you probably did, if you haven't seen this game before. Didn't die. If you go back and watch the part where he looks like he dies, he's actually injecting himself with a needle that apparently saves him from radiation somehow with science magic? I don't know. Uh, what the hell's going on here? I'll tell you what's going on here. You lost. The good guys won this one, and now we're just wrapping up loose ends. We've got the purifier, now we just need the code to start it. You're going to give me that code now, and save us all a lot of trouble. Maybe I'll even let you go. So how about it? Why do you want so badly? You're as good a guy as Handsome Jack. You know why. We can't start the purifier without it. The longer the purifier isn't running, the more people suffer. Now I'm running out of patience, son. I want that code, and I want it now. I don't know what the code is. You lie. I do know what the Colonel, code is. Colonel, I have need of you. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. I love the eye things that like stare. Ah, alone at last. I do apologize for Colonel Autumn's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry. Okay. So that is President John Henry Eden from the... Wow. Hello, experience. From the Enclave radios. What do I want? Oh, you know what I could use is... Oh, first this. So I'm gonna bump that and that to 90 because I can get the bobbleheads to bring them up higher. Uh, bring that to 70. Bring this to 60. Put a point in speech. Yeah. Uh, what do I want? Oh, wow. I'll take that. That's just like an inherent boost. I'll take it. Give me it. It's my stuff. Oh. Oops. Re-equip that. Re-equip that. Can I not? Why can't I repair? It's weird. Oh, because this is the only weapon I have that... Okay, never mind. I was being stupid there for a second. Alright, so... Hold it right there. You're supposed to be in that holding cell. You're not going anywhere. There's a full complement of guards in the next room. As soon as I get them, you're going back to your cell. In a body bag, if necessary. Whoa, calm down. On whose authority? I have no records of that. You're supposed to be in a holding cell. The president wants to speak with me in his office. What? No one sees the president except Colonel Autumn. Stand right there while I check this out. Uh, Mr. President, I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, this is Lieutenant Williams. I have an unauthorized individual here who says he's supposed to speak with you. I'm surprised to hear from you, Lieutenant. I don't recall authorizing you to contact me directly. Yes, sir. I'm sorry about that. I, I just... Uh, it just seemed out of the ordinary. I apologize. Apology noted, Lieutenant. Yes, I instructed our friend to come up to the control room. No questions, no interference. Am I understood? 
I understand, sir. Again, I apologize for the interruption. Allow our friend to pass and report to your superior for reassignment, Lieutenant, at once. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hello. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. I guess you'd better be on your way. Sorry for the, uh, the interruption. See, the Enclave always had the... Attention to all Raven Rock personnel. This is your president speaking. I've invited our guests from Vault 101 to my office. Please do not impede his progress. Thank you for your cooperation. Very good. Continue down this hallway and make a left at the end. You're halfway there. I don't want to go to you yet. I believe there's important things I need to find in this area. Hello. Hello. Uh... Over here, maybe? Hello. You're supposed to be meeting the president, then go do it. Get away from you. Such a shame. They have such cool looking armor, but it's so useless. Is there a point to doing this stuff, or is it just for experience? Oh, I made a shortcut. Which way am I supposed to be going? That way. What? Possible target in vicinity. Attention, this is Colonel Autumn. You are hereby ordered to ignore the President's previous directive. The prisoner from Vault 101 is to be shot on sight. I repeat, shot on sight. This is an order. Further in, I go to this area. Hmm. Fancy. Oh. Oh, a death claw. Really? I don't understand. How do I have zero chance to hit them? Weird. None of you have Tesla armor. Why? I want Tesla armor. I need Tesla armor. Oh, you have a ripper. Oh! You sound like the guy from SpongeBob. My leg!
thank you. And thank you. I think that way. You, you're not supposed to be in here. What are you doing here? Anna, do I, am I supposed to know you? They, they captured me. Brought me here from Project Purity. I didn't want to help them at first, but the technology they have here, it's so far advanced from anything I've worked with. They wanted information. About Dr. Lee, about Project Purity. They want to know how to start it up, and why it wouldn't work. I told them everything I could. About the Gek, about the damage caused by the explosions, all of it. Do you know how to get out I'm of here? I'm afraid I'm not able to help you with that. You should go. I don't want anyone seeing me talking to you. You a traitor. You a bad person. But I'm not gonna kill you. Well, you'll probably get killed somehow. Oh, wait! Oh, I thought that was a skill book. Wasteland, I guess? Or something? Control room. Sentry bots. President will see me now. Wow, that is a really deep hum. to make it. The trip was not what I had intended, but serves as an adequate test of your abilities. For meeting face to face, show yourself. Uh, no, it's a pleasure to meet you. You're too kind. The pleasure is mine, I assure you. I've been anxious to make your acquaintance for some time. You and I have much to discuss, my young friend. What can I do for you? You and I have a chance to make our country a better place for all of us. I'd like you to make sure that chance isn't wasted. Understand I am placing a great deal of trust in you. Your simple presence here proves that. All right, can you explain what you mean? My abilities to influence the world are limited at this time. I alone can only do so much. You, however, may come and go as you please. You have a greater degree of freedom. Perhaps it's best if I explain why things need to change, and why I'd like you to act on my behalf. Uh, go on, I'm intrigued. The good people of this country cannot regain control while mutation runs rampant through our land. My soldiers cannot stem the tide, nor can the cult you've come into contact with, this Brotherhood of Steel. Mutations like the Super Mutants and ghouls must be purged from our society, our world, before we can proceed anew. Where others have failed, I believe your father's work can succeed. Uh, how is that relevant? Relevant? The purifier your father helped create has the ability to provide clean water to the whole of this capital wasteland. 
With a simple modification, it can be used to distribute agents that destroy mutated creatures upon ingestion. In time, we could eliminate all mutations in the wasteland. At the same time, the good people of the world regain their health. I need you to make the modification necessary for this to succeed. Uh, how exactly would I go about doing this? In front of you will be a vial of modified FEV virus. It can be inserted into the control console for the purifier. Doing so will inject it into the water supply, and the purifier will take care of the rest. You just need the code to activate the purifier. Simple, isn't it? Uh... No way I'm not doing that. I find that unfortunate and most disappointing. I must impress upon you the severity of the situation. I cannot allow you to leave unless the vial is in your possession. Uh... This has to end, Eden. You need to destroy yourself in this base. I'm afraid I won't be persuaded. Whatever powers you may have over the average wastelander are ineffectual on me. I have science, though. You can't be president. Your abortion of science, you need to die. Really? Do go on. You aren't programmed for self-awareness. You said to yourself, you were never allowed to be president. You don't have the right to govern. Only a human can be president on some computer. Uh, well, you aren't programmed for self-awareness. This is quite true. The process was certainly unintended. But shouldn't we all be thankful that I'm here now? But how do you know what you're doing is right? Because unlike humans, I am infallible. And how do you know you're infallible? Because I've been programmed to be, of course. This is circular logic. You know because you know, it makes no sense. Processing. Internal logic error detected. I think you're delusional. I think the world will be better off without you. Resetting primary memory circuits. Please stand by. Perhaps, perhaps there is a problem. I, I am unsure how to proceed. Uh, I think it's time you put an end to this once and for all. Analyzing command. New course of action dictated. Self-destruct sequence initialized. Civilian is advised to secure hazardous FEV material to prevent explosive decompression. Civilian also advised to evacuate complex immediately. I just outsmarted the robot president. Alright, so that's it for this episode. I'll make my way out of the base in the next episode. But, thanks for watching. Come back, I'll have the next stuff up real soon. But until then, bye!